What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. When you're shopping, you'll often find that a product has different options to choose from. Those are called product variants. Product variants are options related to a certain product, like different sizes, colors, brands, and so on. Product variants increase sales and keep customers happy throughout the shopping process, so let's jump into our database to see how easy it is to create and use product variants with Odoo Sales. Let's kick things off on our Sales App dashboard. From here, we'll select Configuration and then Settings. Then we need to ensure that the variant setting is enabled. As you can see, I've taken care of that already, but if you haven't, now's the time. And once you do, make sure we click Save in the upper left-hand corner before moving on. Now, with that locked in, we can jump to our Attributes page, which can be accessed through this Attributes link, which is directly under our variant setting. Or we could click on Configuration and then select Attributes. Either route brings us to the Attributes page where we'd find a list of all the product variants that we currently have in our database, along with a series of related information for each one. An attribute is something like a product's different color, size, brand, and other things like that. And for values, those are specific variants of the attribute. So for example, for a pair of shoes, the attribute could be the size, and the values would be the size 10, 11, 12, and so on. And a product variant would be a specific combination of a attribute and value. So a product variant of a shoe could be red size 12. Makes sense, right? Besides the attribute's name, we can see its display type, which lets me decide how I'd like the values displayed to my customers on our e-commerce website. We can also see each variance creation mode, which tells me when those specific variants are generated. And the e-commerce filter visibility information tells me if the attribute is an available selection for my online customers. From here though, we're going to click New, and this is going to create a blank attribute form. Here we can customize the attributes in a different way. First, let's give this attribute a name. So let's say this is a material that we're creating for our stealthy wood jacket. In this case, we'll name this attribute Material. Next, we can determine how we want this attribute to be on our online store. The radio option presents the choices with the clickable circle besides each option. The pills display type is more of a button. The select option provides customers with a drop down menu of choices. The color type is only for color related attributes and lets the customer select their desired choice from an array of color circles. And lastly, the multi checkbox option provides multiple checkboxes representing the attribute and customers collect more than one if desired. We'll keep the default radio option selected for now and keep things moving. Then we have our variance creation mode. Instantly means all possible fields are created on the product variance page as soon as the attribute and its values are added to a product. Dynamically means that each variant is created on the product variance page only when its corresponding attributes and values are added to a sales order. And never means that the variants are never created on the product attributes page for the attribute. Should be noted that the variance creation mode can't be changed once the attribute is used, at least on one product. So be sure to keep that in mind. For now though, we're gonna keep things on instantly, which is the most commonly used option. Up next, we have the e-commerce filter visibility field. Here we can choose to make these attributes visible to customers or hide them completely. We're gonna go with visible though, because I want people to see all the different options we have available. Now it's time to add some attribute values in the tab directly below. This is where we'll add all the different types of materials that our jacket comes in. So we'll click add a line and type cotton. Then if desired, we could tick the free text checkbox, which allows customers to set their own value, but that's more of a customization attribute. And since we're dealing with the set values for our jacket, we're gonna leave that box unticked. If one value happens to cost more and should result in a higher sales price, then you can enter that in the default extra price field. That value is then added to the original price and that information is shown on the product page so customers are aware of the increase of cost. Since this is our basic jacket material, we won't need to apply any extra price information, but let's add two material values for fleece and polyester. So we'll click add a line again. And this time we're gonna put in fleece. We're gonna go ahead and bypass the free text checkbox again and for the default extra price, we're gonna add 10. Then we'll click add a line again. And this time we're gonna add the polyester option. 
And then we're going to give this one a default extra price of five. And that's it. Of course, we can have the option to add as many attribute values as we'd like. But all right, now that we have our attributes and values ready to go, it's time to add them to our product. So since we just created the attributes values for this jacket, let's navigate to our Stealthy Wood Jacket product page to officially add them as options to our customers. So we're gonna click on products and then products once again, and then we're gonna select our Stealthy Wood Jacket. And then we're gonna open the attributes and variants tab. Here we'll click add a line and click into the empty field that appears. And since our material attribute isn't one of the first choices, all we have to do is type material and then select it. Then we'll click into the values field. And this is where we can see all of our different options that we already created, which in this case is cotton, fleece, and polyester. So let's just click into them to add them. And then click save at the top. After it's saved, you'll notice a new variant smart button appears at the top of the product form. So let's click into that really quick. And doing so takes us to the product variants page for the specific product where we'll find all our newly three added materials. If we click into the cotton variant, we'll be taken to that specific product variant form page where additional details of this variant can be configured like codes, logistics, pricing, and sales settings. For this video though, let's just change the product photo so our customers know exactly what our cotton jacket looks like. So to do that, we'll click the pencil icon in the photo here, choose our file, and then just upload it. And there we go. Then we'll navigate to our fleece variant directly from here via the arrows in the upper right hand corner. And we'll just go ahead and do the same thing, but this time with our fleece photo. Perfect. Now, before we part ways, let's see what these variants look like for our customers. To do that, we'll click back to the Stealthy Wood Jacket via the breadcrumbs, and then click the Go to Website Smart button. That takes us to the product page of our online store. Here you'll see the product along with the variants we configured for it. To start, we have our cotton jacket with the appropriate photo representing it. Then if we click the fleece option, we can see it's clearly indicated $10 upcharge due to the material option, and Odoo shows us exactly what our fleece jacket looks like. Same thing happens when we click on the polyester jacket. Pretty cool, right? And there you have it, Odooers. That's how you create and use product variants using Odoo Sales. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.